Hello YouTube, this is Keith Kevin Ken. How you doing? How you doing? Man, I hope you're doing well. You know, <laughs> I didn't do a video this morning before going to work because I knew that my two new knives from Spydeco would be coming probably on Saturday. So I was going to skip Friday and make sure I did one on Saturday. But guess what? I got home this Friday and here it is. Um, I have two new Spydeco's right from <laughs> Spydeco with my number 23 on it. And I got a message today. Uh, the two that I just received are um, distributor exclusives. And then I just got a call, not a call, an email today. And I and I have asked them to rush it to me. One brand new knife from Spyderco as well that'll be coming. So fingers crossed that that comes on Monday or Tuesday, probably Tuesday. And then I bought a new knife <laughs> as well. So we have some new knives coming. And I think Spyderco will have a bunch of knives coming. Uh, all through February. But let's talk about this. Now, Blade HQ just announced or just started selling their exclusive Spydeco. Um, let me see if I can pull back a little bit. I feel like I'm a little too close. Sorry about that, you guys. Um, they just started selling the exclusive military. And spoiler alert, that's the next knife. That's the second knife that I got. So I got two Blade HQ exclusives. But they haven't released this one yet. So I'm going to do the military uh, either tomorrow or Sunday or I don't know when. <laughs> but I wanted to do this one. Because I know people haven't done this one yet. This is the brand new Blade HQ Spydeco exclusive. And I've loved this line of exclusives they've been doing. This is the Native 5, the American made Spydeco, one of the Spydeco American made knives in Colorado, made in Colorado. And it's got that special Blade HQ exclusive treatment. It has Crucible's M4 steel. This is the black blade version. And the natural G10 scales. And the natural G10 has that green. You see that green color? It is see-through, but this native does not have liners no liners at all you can see right there you can see part of the pivot through there you can see a little bit of the back lock through there but you can't see anything else and that's the reason i love the fact that all the hardware is black as well so you not only have the black blade but all the hardware is black and that's just plain beautiful. The military that I'll be showing you, the other knife that arrived today, same thing, black blade. And uh, I'll have to see if it has liners. I actually haven't, haven't even taken it out of the box yet. Yes, I did. Here it is. And you can see it does have... Well, actually, you can see the blade right there through. It does have uh, liners inserted in it. So that's coming up later, but let's talk about this Native 5, okay? Crucible's M4 steel is just a great steel. It really is. Um, it really retains an edge for a very long time. And it's real tough steel as well. You do have to take care of it. It's not a 
It is not a stainless steel, but it's very tough. And that edge, it comes real sharp out of the box from Spydeco, and that edge just stays there for a real long time. Full flat grind, drop point blade. As I told you, no liners. Three inch blade. But the great thing about the native, it says everything about a lot of the Spydeco traits. A lot of knives with full flat grind. You get that Spydeco leaf shaped blade. You get that 50-54 choyo that I love so much. 50% of the choyo is on the steel. The other part is the handle. That way you don't take up too much of either and it gives you this big forward choyo for your index finger that allows you to choke up. You can see the jimping right there, right? before you get to the hole but really it has you know it, it doesn't have the huge hump from Spyderco you can dig into it this is a wonderful EDC knife they've been doing already five versions not not versions five models of this this is the native five they use the native for their 40th anniversary they did a special native for the 40th anniversary. You can see that on this channel on my knife of the day playlist. So it is a special knife. And of course, I like the size. Three inch blade. And when we talk about the blade size, it's from tip to the tip of the handle. But of course they did that 50-50 choyo. So the edge is two point four inches 2.4 inches on the edge full flat grind very nice slicer the entire size of this and of course i lean towards smaller knives and this is just just perfect for me 6.9 inches 6.9 inches from tip to tip and it weighs 3.1 ounces. It's so light. It's well balanced. It's also so light, especially with no liners. Just a real nice knife. That black clip, four-way clip, it's a regular clip. Yes, I wish it was a wire clip. Can you imagine this knife with a black wire clip? Because they do great uh, anodization of those wire clips. That's why on all the sages, their wire clip uh, clips and all the sages have these different handles and they, they make sure that that wire clip match. But I like it. I like even the regular clip in this regard because it just adds more highlights to the knife for me. Real nice knife. Four way. Right hand, left hand, tip up or tip down. Back lock, very strong back lock. There you have it. The knife of the day is the brand new, not yet released, exclusive Spydeco Native 5 with the black blade, CPM M4 steel. It's a Blade HQ exclusive. Goes along with their other exclusives from Spydeco. The Natural G10. They've done a lot of M4 steels. And I love how they do uh, Satin Blade and then the Black Blade. So they do two blades as well. They've already done the Satin Blade. They start with the... Um, plain uh, satin blade and then they wait months and they come out with the black blade and here's the black blade for the blade hq exclusive spydeco native 5 with natural g10 and m4 steel just wanted to compare it yeah that's a pair of three 
so you can get that feel it's just like of course the para 3 has a three inch blade so does the native and then just so we compare it to what's a newer standard from spider called the para 3 and of course long live the standard the delica so that you get a good sense of the size of the native five in this special edition hey i hope you guys are doing well i'm so happy i got this in i was expecting saturday so i wouldn't miss a friday i miss talking to you guys hope you have a perfect day don't forget to subscribe that way oh man there are great knives coming from spydeco during this quarter they already announced the ones coming uh the knife <laughs> that will be coming here in a couple of days everybody's been asking for <laughs> so it's coming and then oh there are some expensive and exciting knives coming um from distributors as exclusives but also the Spydeco knives as well. So I'm I'm getting excited. We're getting into new knife territory in 2019 from Spydeco and I'm psyched. I hope you are too. Subscribe, turn on your notifications so that you know when I'm doing that. And we're getting so many knives at some point I am going to do a trimming in the next month or two. And that means I'm selling off um <laughs> some of my collection. You guys have a perfect day. Keep those pockets full. Good night.